Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the Soyo 5700 XT and in my previous video I've done an unboxing and also done a comparison with the Elsa 5700. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch that. So what I'm going to do is change thermal paste, do a... Before I do that, I've done a stress test already and then after the thermal paste change, I'm going to do another test to see if the temps have been lowered. So without further ado, let's get this opened up. Right, so on the back we've got four screws here and then another two screws here. I'm not sure if I need to take these off because it doesn't seem like it's connected to the case. So we'll go ahead and take these four off, uh, four off first and see how we get on. So I did have to take the other two screws off and here we have the heatsink. It looks really new and um, the thermal um, pads look new as well. And yeah, it looks pretty decent to be honest. This heatsink is a decent size and yeah, no issues here. Got three pipes um, that go into the actual heat sink so yeah it looks pretty decent and here is the board and it looks very clean there's no issues there the memory um, don't look as if they've been painted on it looks fresh no dust no dirt no rust so very good here and also I'm going to take a closer picture of the number so we can verify if it's a 5700 XT or if it's a 5700 and it's been modified to look like a 5700 XT but generally everything's all good so I'm gonna go ahead and change the thermal paste and we'll get it put back together and then we'll run the um, testing of the temps and see if it's made a difference.